So today, I'm going to introduce to you what a foot pull is. Off. Uh, it's basically a PVC pipe, there's a rope, and a really good toy at the end. Now what this will do is it will teach impulse control of the dog. They should only have this out when you are training with them. So in other words, they just can't have it out for them to play with by themselves. Typically, these are about as long as a fishing pole. Um, I like to make shorter ones, that way I can work with them on the inside of the house as well. Um, all of this is this PVC pipe. There's a rope, see I tied the end down there. And then I tied a really good toy, a toy that they absolutely love. Now, if they go through toys a lot, you can just use a tennis ball and a sock and use that. Um, but this will wear them out, both mentally and physically. And especially if you have a younger dog or a dog with high energy, this is a great alternative to exercise them without you really exercising. Now, a couple things. It's almost like you're the tetherball pole and this is the tetherball. They will chase this around. You need to let them catch it, maybe play tug of war with them a little bit, and then take it from them. Um, there's a couple of different methods on taking away. You can either offer them a treat and they'll drop it, or you can put right here on their cheek and it'll basically go into their teeth and they'll kind of bite it down on themselves, letting go. Just make sure you use a word like drop or give. So after you take it from them, then you'll have them sit or do a behavior that you want and then play them again. So, Sean, come, come, look at it. So she caught it, so I'm just going to play with her. Oh, yes, oh, I know I did not tie this on very good. Oh, let me tie it on one more time. Oh, well, she's interested in it now. So I only tied it with one knot, um, and she was able to really tear it. So make sure it's tight. So, okay. All right. Oh, she caught her out of the back, so I'm going to play tug war with her, and I'm going to ask her to give it to me. Give. Yes. Sean, sit. Yes, good sit. Okay, come on. So now keep in mind, she is 10 years old and she loves this game. Oh yes. She loves toys. I give. Good girl. Sit. There you go. Now you want to make sure you let them catch it. You don't always want to play keep away with them. If you play keep away, they're going to lose interest in the toy. So um, let them catch it, play take a war, take it from them, have them sit or down or whatever you want, and then play with them again. And this is a fork pole. I am going to leave a link at the bottom of this video. That way you can follow it if you want step-by-step -step instructions on how to make